Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Rodimus Prime. Now I pre-ordered Rodimus Prime here back in March from Entertainment Earth with a August due date and I was surprised to get him in the mail today. So I really can't wait to get this guy out of the package. So let's take a quick look at the box. We've got Rodimus Prime here in robot mode and vehicle mode and some wraparound artwork that Kingdom has been known for. Now this is a Supreme Class figure, so we don't get a look at the actual toy in the package, just all this great artwork. And wraparound artwork here on the side, Transformers Kingdom artwork here on this side, and back of the box we have Rodimus Prime in robot mode, car mode, space Winnebago mode, and battle platform mode. So now, without further ado, Let's get Rodimus opened up out of this packaging and see if he's worth that supreme class price. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. I slipped there. <laughs> Now, once you get Rodimus Prime all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, and I mean sheet. This thing is like a bed sheet. You just unfold it, and it keeps going and going and going, but as usual, it's very well illustrated and very easy to follow. Rodimus also comes with his trailer. Rodimus Prime himself in what I like to call his hot rod mode he gets his big trailer mounted cannon that is actually packed separately. Rodimus comes packed in vehicle mode. So there's an actual shot right there of how he came packed. So that's why it's like this. He also comes with these seven blue blast effects that are the Omega Supreme blast effects that can all combine together to form a giant mega blast. So you've got all these right here. He has these two, I don't know, I guess these are smoke effects. These are, these are weird. They're jet black. I mean, it looks inky almost. So he's got those. He has a sword and his long rifle. He also comes with a matrix effect. This will actually clip onto the matrix. We'll show that off later on. A file card, and even with Rodimus, I still get one that I've got multiple times, the arc. You've got the arc right there on the glitter front. Peel this back, and it's the arc crashed into Mount St. Hillary. So I think that's my 10th arc. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Rodimus in vehicle mode. And to go ahead and combine him into his space Winnebago mode, it's really, really easy. You just slide him in, just like the original Generation 1 toy, and right there is a little catch. That'll hook in right there on top of the spoiler. Just slide that in. You'll feel it catch, and there you go. 
Rodimus Prime in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Rodimus Prime looks pretty good and fairly faithful to his original Generation 1 toy that I have right here. My big complaint just right off the bat with Rodimus's vehicle mode is I think the front sticks out way too far. It just, it looks weird. I wish it would have shoved in a little tighter, but you know, it is what it is. But as I said, a very close homage to the original generation toy, right down to the paint applications, the flame decals up there on top of the vehicle though, that is reversed there on top and pretty close right there on the front. Now, this is a long vehicle too. Let me bring in Earthrise Optimus Prime just so you can get an idea of the scale. And we'll line up Prime right there, his trailer on the back of Rodimus's. So you can see the size of Rodimus compared to Optimus Prime. Get these guys out of the way, bring in Rodimus once again. Now, another complaint I have with Rodimus's vehicle mode is, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but the only wheels that actually touch the ground on this vehicle are the front wheels here and the rear wheels. Right here, he's got these two, or four actually, sorry, I didn't mean to bump the camera. They don't touch the ground unless you press down on the figure. You can kind of see how it bows up. I mean, he still rolls good, but not with those. Those are almost just for show. Now, as I said, the details look great on this figure. Lots of molded detail, lots of great paint applications, molded details there on the back. Though, could use a little bit of paint back there, but still a very nice looking vehicle. And it's actually it's got a little heft to it. It'll have more heft once we put in the double barrel cannon, which I'm gonna bring in right now so we can take a look at. I like this, the extra added feature they have of giving this actual treads, which is really cool. So it's like a mobile battle platform. Now, like it is here, you can mount this on top of Rodimus's vehicle mode. Let's see, right here, you flip this pin out or this peg out and just tab it right there in the top there's a little arm or leg right there that'll stick out and once you get that pegged in that's a little tight let's see you have this backwards facing cannon so there's an option if you want to do that i am not the biggest fan of course you see that didn't peg in all the way that is very tight fit but moving the peg out of the way there it is, how it would look if it was tighter in. Now, while we're on the subject of pegging things in, I just want you to take a note of all the ports on Rodimus Prime. He's got three up here on top. He's got one there on the side near the back. He's got three right there along the bottom and one over there on vehicle mode. Of course, these are all on both sides. So he is loaded with holes to peg five millimeter weapons in or battle masters. He also has storage right up here. So any of the extra accessories you have, you can put them in there. Or what's really cool, he has a hidden accessory bin right there underneath. So that's cool. It's got little slots for the sword, the double barrel gun that you can actually fold in half like so. And let's see, that pegs in right there, but unfortunately, that sticks out a little too far to slide back into Rodimus. But you can do with these however you wish. I usually put all my blast effects in a blast effect baggie, but it's really cool that he has all those storage options. Of course, back here on the back of the vehicle, lift this up and this down. So you've got a little ramp right there. And since the cannon is not inside yet, Lots and lots of storage on the inside, but we'll get more into the innards of the trailer later on. There's also the little adapter right there where you could, can connect the trailer to bases or those little Battlemaster ramps. Now, I really do like the metal hinges right there, or the pistons on the door. That's really, really cool. Now, a fun fact about Rodimus Prime, 
This vehicle is actually based on a real vehicle. The 1964 Bison concept from General Motors. Of course, that never came mass released to the public, but there's you some knowledge that I myself learned from my good buddy Rodimus Primal. Now let's talk about these jet black blast effects or smoke effects. And I, I don't get why they made these black. According to the packaging right here, these were supposed to be light blue or clear, but instead we get this black, inky, nasty looking one. So I don't know what the final decision was to make them this way, but you know, we've got such a wide variety of colorful blast effects. Just don't understand why they went with black. Now where these go is you peg them right there in the top of Rodimus's exhausts. So let's see. Get that angle just right. So there we go. We've got the smoke coming out of the exhaust. And you can take a couple other extra blast effects. And right here underneath in the storage sled, there was a couple extra ports I forgot to point out. Plug those in. So now you've got Rodimus Prime speeding along, blowing that black smoke out. So I guess Rodimus doesn't give a damn about the environment. So yeah, you've got this display option. So now let's go ahead and remove Rodimus Prime's trailer. And we'll just take Rodimus here and put him off to the side so we can take a closer look at this. Now the trailer itself, all you do is grab it and pull it apart. That's how the transformation starts. And I just want to let you guys know that when I first got Rodimus here, this would not stay together. I would tab it closed. Let's see, tab it closed like that. And it just kept popping apart over and over again. Some of my other friends who just got Rodimus had the same problem. And what I did is I took a Q-tip and put super glue on the sides of each of these tabs. I let it dry overnight. And now it pegs together, if you can get to line up, it pegs together perfectly and I've got no issues whatsoever. So there's something you can do if your Rodimus Prime trailer refuses to stay together. So another thing I wanna point out is when you open the sides of the trailer, these sections right here on the exhaust pipes, they're on a spring. Now this side, when I bring the trailer section down, it actually catches on this little orange piece here and the bottom folds out let's see yeah it folds out and gets out of the way where this side here it catches every time it just doesn't want to go around that orange peg so i have to make sure i move this one out of the way as i bring the sides of the trailer down right here on the back you can take this whole section be careful with this and bring this down it, this part here is going to stick up so you want to bring that down as well. So now I have a longer base. This section here can fold down and over. So you've got this entire battle platform and this thing, you thought Rodimus's outside had the ports. Looky there. There are tons of ports for your accessories or battle masters. That is port overkill. Now we bring in the double barrel cannon. I keep saying double barrel, but this one actually has a third barrel right there. To add this to Rodimus Prime's trailer, flip out this little peg once again and just slot it right there in that center area. Let me get this out of here so you can take a closer look. See the circle? Just put that right there in the center and then just raise this up. Yeah, raise that up. You've got these little handles you can bring up. Flip the little leg down. And there's Rodimus's cannon. So it can rotate on the peg. It can rotate up here on the top. You've got this section right here that can go up and down. This is really, really cool. And what I like is you can kind of, oh, I forgot. Flip these out. And you have the blast shields, just like the Generation 1 toy. So you can have Rodimus man this, and we'll show that off later on, or 
bring this around. You could add weapons. So you've got Rodimus' gun right there. You can add weapons here on the corners. And you can just make this whole thing a battle base for your smaller figures. So I think that's really cool. And I like it. It's a great homage to that original Generation 1 Rodimus Prime. Now, as I stated earlier, you can store the cannon inside Rodimus Prime's trailer, just like the Generation 1 toy. Go ahead and bring this section up right here and pay attention. You see that little slot? right there that slot is going to match up to that little peg right there on the back of the cannon so go ahead and fold the blast shields back in and you can leave this pegged in as well and then just fold the cannon down like so make sure that tab goes into that little slot go ahead and bring the handles down shut the sides fold in the door here and just bring this whole back section up Let's see, that needs to lock into place first. That will click into place and just bring the whole trailer together like so. And there you have the cannon stored inside. And of course, flip this section up. Now right here, this is where I really noticed when the cannon was inside that this would not stay pegged together. But yeah, the super glue trick worked wonders. So that's pretty much it for Rodimus Prime's trailer. Now let's take a look at Rodimus himself. Now I absolutely love Rodimus Prime's vehicle mode as the souped up version of Hot Rod. This thing just looks awesome. Look at all the molded detail on this figure. He's got the translucent canopy that shows off a lot of robot junk, but I'm sure Toy Hacks will fix that later on, but still. This thing just looks awesome. It's big and beefy and just an upgraded version of Hot Rod, you know, like he is. But check out Rodimus here compared to Studio 86 Hot Rod. Hot Rod is a runt compared to him. And big difference in the plastic quality. You want to know where your money's going with this figure? It's the plastic. Hot Rod, as good as he is, very light, very thin feeling where this is a solid toy. So I love this. This is so cool. I just can't get over that vehicle mode. It looks great. So let's see, taking a closer look at him, great paint applications, fantastic sculpted detail. This, this guy just pops. I wish the wheels looked better though. Just like the trailer. I don't think I went over the wheels. They're very plain. They're just plastic wheels with a little bit of detailing there in the middle let's see they're not pegged in but still the wheels could have been upgraded like the vents up there up top the great uh, chrome exhaust right there now the back of the vehicle is just folded up robot feet but it connects into the trailer you don't really see that anyway but man i could kind of just leave the trailer aside and just go with this vehicle mode i love this and unlike the trailer, all of Rodimus's wheels in car mode touch the ground. So he rolls really, really well. And I love it. I absolutely love this vehicle mode. So now let's get Rodimus Prime transformed into robot mode. Now Rodimus Prime's transformation is a little complicated, but once you do it a couple of times, it's not too bad. First thing you're going to do is behind the vehicle here, you're going to take these tabs, unpeg those, and just flip them along the sides of the vehicle. Then you're going to reach in and pop the canopy loose along with the back section of the vehicle right there. So you've got that going on. Now, take the vehicle like so, go ahead and grab the sides, and just pull the arms out. And just bring these down like so. Then you have Rodimus's chest section. Go ahead and bring this down and out. And now from here, go ahead and rotate the bottom half of the vehicle. So of course, this is Rodimus's waist. Now right here, you're gonna take the canopy and bring this down as flat as possible. Go ahead and bring these arms up. And now you got a second rotation right here that you're going to bring this around. Now this is tricky because these tend to catch on everything. 
But if you get everything just right, you have this rotated around. I missed this so many times in the instructions. I just never could figure out where that secondary rotation was. There it is. So now from here, you're going to bring the arms down. This little black section is going to fold into this section right here. So bring this down and then you got a little peg right there that's going to peg into the gray section of the arm. And it is tight. Get that snapped into place. We'll go ahead and do this for the other side. There we go. Bring the arms down. Make sure these sections are facing in like so. And now you're going to bring up Rodimus's torso. And you've got this little notch right here that's going to peg into, let me find it, this section right there. So that notch is going to peg into there. Make sure that clips into place. You should feel it snap if you get it just right. And you have to have it pegged. Oh, another thing I forgot right here on the hood, you've got these little flaps. Make sure and fold these in on both sides. Let's see if I can get that to snap in. Had the worst time with that earlier. There we go. That's all snapped in. It's a soft snap, but you'll know when you get it. So go ahead and bring Rodimus's torso up. And now you've got the hood, or not the hood, the canopy. See that little square slot right there? That's going to peg in to this here. So bring this up and peg that into place. Once again, it's a tight fit, but once you get in place, you are good to go. Go ahead and take the hood section of Rodimus right here and you're going to press this back and it's going to tab in these little slots right there. See the red section? Go ahead and push that back and tab that into place. Gives his chest a little bit more of an angle. Now we've got the arms right here. Another section that kind of confused me at first, but what you're going to do is take this little section here, fold this down, and let me see if I remember how to do it. Bring this up. And you're going to rotate the blasters around. And then this section here, you're going to rotate this around again. And once you get this forearm lined up, this section is just going to fold down. The black hinge is going to fit into that slot and peg that section in under the forearm. And there you have Rodimus's arm. That's really cool how that works. So one more time unpeg this section here, rotate this around, take this little section here, rotate down, peg in, and wrap around. That is cool. I like how that works so much better than hot rod. Now we go to the back. You've got the spoiler. It rotates, as you can see. And you're going to take this black section right here is going to peg into that slot that we saw earlier in Rodimus's canopy. So just bring that down, line that up, and get that pegged in. This is another hard peg to get. I don't know why <laughs> the pegs on Rodimus are so difficult to line up. But once you get pegged in, it's not going anywhere. Now, back here, I love this. The wheels... Get your fingernail in and split the wheel apart, just like so. And now you're going to rotate it around and find this little tab right there. And that's going to slot into the tab on his arm. So you push the wheel in. Get a good grip on him here. Push the wheel in and then tab it in the arm, which brings the wheel in tighter to the arm. Let's so see if I can get a better shot for you here. Unpeg this, rotate around to where you see the tab, push the wheel into the arm, that went in a lot easier, and then peg the arm, or peg the tire, peg the wheel into the arm, and there you go, we've got Rodimus Prime's upper body finished, and now let's move on to the legs. We're going to separate the legs here, go ahead and bring the feet down unpeg the wheels back here and then just 
rotate this whole section down and around. There's actually a tab right here. I forgot to show you guys. You got to pull this apart. Now move everything down. Like I said, transform the guy a few times. I'm always forgetting things. Now, once you got the legs down, you're going to take the wheels and just fold these in. These wheels also collapse and you'll rotate this whole section inside Rodimus's leg. So the wheel, once you get in here just right. Okay, get a good look at this. This takes a little bit more force than I thought. You want to make sure this red section clears this black section right there. So get that pressed in, and you'll see the wheel will stick through this little section here. Go ahead and wrap this section back around Rodimus's leg. And there's the first leg transformed. Go ahead and show you one more time. Push the wheel in. Bring it inside the leg. Make sure you clear this black section there. And like I said, take some force to get that in. And go ahead and wrap that section around. Flip the feet out. Just like so. And now, we have Rodimus Prime in robot mode. And this figure looks great. He looks like an older version of Hot Rod just like he's supposed to. Lots of great molded details throughout with some fantastic paint applications. I mean, this guy just looks awesome. I love the face sculpt. He looks tired, weary, and battle-worn, just like Rodimus Prime should look. Great paint applications right there on the chest, which was the same as vehicle mode. And he just looks awesome. I think the legs are a little plain. They're all black. They're really missing something. But man, this guy looks awesome. I love how the wheels just disappear, just like Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. And I just, I can't say enough good things about this guy. He just looks awesome. Now, the articulation for Rodimus Prime, the head's on a ball joint. It can look up, it can look down, it could do a complete 360. The arms, they could do a complete 360, but they are going to hit the spoiler there on the back. Oh, another thing I forgot to do is when transforming the arms, you want to pull these out slightly. See, I got a little bit of extension right there. I miss that every time. So there you go. Now he's fully transformed. So the arms could do a complete 360. They can go out. They can go in. There is a bicep bend, actually a double bicep bend, and he's got articulated fingers. The pointer finger is articulated separately from the other three, so you can kind of give him that pointy, judgmental finger look right there. So I really like that. There is wrist rotation as well. The waist rotation, the legs can go up and back. They can only go back so far. They are going to hit right there against the back. There's a little hip flap right here, so the legs can go out. They can go in. There is a rotation up here at the hip. No knee rotation, but there is a knee bend, and there is ankle tilt. So lots of articulation for the guy. He looks fan. I just can't get over how good this figure looks, and he's solid. Just like I mentioned with vehicle mode, this is a heavy figure. Big difference with your regular Voyager Deluxe size. And just look at the shine on this. I know this is all plastic, but it feels like die cast. This is a solid figure. Now bringing in his weapons, you've got the large cannon or the large gun, the large rifle that Rodimus is known for. Just close his fist and peg that right into the hand. So that looks really, really good. And maybe, let's see, I can't get him to grasp both both of the pegs, I guess I could, but it's not really going to pose really well like I'd want him to. But there he is with his rifle, which looks really good. And he also comes with a sword. Now, the sword doesn't just peg in. It does have a hilt, or I think it's called a pommel right there at the bottom. So you are going to have to open Rodimus's hand fully, slide the sword in, and then wrap the fingers around. Now, you guys are going to have to help me out. When did Rodimus wield a sword? So I have no clue on that, but the sword looks really good. 
lots of nice detail and there's a little peg right there that you can flip out if you'd like you could peg the sword in any of the various ports that rodimus has now also he is rodimus prime after all fold the chest down and there lies within a matrix let me go ahead and pop that out for you and i believe this matrix is a slightly bigger version than the one we get with Optimus Prime and Hot Rod and all these other figures lately. Yep, it's a little bit bigger. It is gold instead of orange, and it does have the translucent crystal there on the inside. Now, of course, I had this blast effect from earlier. You just clip that onto the matrix, and so now it is lighting their darkest hour. Now, of course, Rodimus Prime can also man his artillery platform, so just add a few blast effects right there to the barrels, and by God, it's a party. Now, another option you can do with Rodimus' cannon here is go ahead and flip the barrels up and rotate them around so you've got this peg facing the same way the cannon is. Take Rodimus and peg the cannon right there into his back. So now you've got Rodimus emulating Scorponok a little bit with a big old cannon backpack. Of course, that makes him just a little bit top heavy, but once again, add some blast effects to help even out that weight. And it's a party. And he's still back heavy. Now you can also utilize that hole on Rodimus's back for sword storage like so or take the long rifle he has fold it in half like i showed earlier on and peg that in as well so that way you can arm him with it, whichever weapon you choose and now for some quick size comparisons here is transformers war for cybertron kingdom rodimus prime with generation one rodimus prime Studio Series 86 Hot Rod, and Kingdom Galvatron. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rodimus Prime is a fantastic toy. I'm enjoying this figure way more than I thought I would. I know I'm going to get some hate in the comments, but Rodimus Prime was never one of my favorite characters, and I was initially going to pass on getting this because, let's face it, he is a supreme class toy with a $80 price tag. And unfortunately, 40 of those $80 is right here in this trailer that, let's face it, most of us will be putting in storage. Rodimus Prime himself is amazing. He's got a great robot mode, fantastic vehicle mode. I could go on and on about his vehicle mode. Plus, he's got tons and tons of accessories. Lots of playability, and I just, I can't say enough good things about this figure. A couple negatives are the fact that the trailer does not want to stay shut. I had to add a little bit of super glue to fix that. And the plain looking wheels. Other than that, a fantastic figure and comes highly recommended. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom, Rodimus Prime. So, does the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Rodimus Prime belong in your collection? Absolutely. But that $80 price tag is going to be off-putting for some. I mean, when we got Jetfire and Skylinks, both of those figures, we utilized everything. Jetfire had the armor that you could put on and display him with. Skylinks had the shuttle and the Lynx mode that you could display with. Rodimus here, you've got the fantastic robot, and you've got the trailer. And I, for one, at least in my display, there's no way I can display Rodimus with the trailer. This is going into storage. And I think I mentioned earlier, you've got an $80 figure, 40 here, 40 here, and half is going in storage. So if you go into this figure understanding that, you're not going to be disappointed maybe down the road he'll be on sale. Like, uh, I know Skylinks went on sale, Jetfire went on sale at some point. Scoop them up. But if that doesn't bother you, storing that trailer doesn't bother you, pick this guy up. You are not going to be disappointed. 
This is an amazing figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah! 10,000 by TF Con.